Okay kids, today we're going to learn about making ice cream. Lake Metro Parks Farm Park and Pierre's Ice Cream Company teamed up to demonstrate the ice cream making process and to treat our visitors to some fabulous Pierre's ice cream. Pierre's helped create a nice display that shows the basics. They get their cream, then mix it, flavor it, add sugar, package the product, and quickly freeze it to a minus 27 degrees. But at Farm Park, we take it a step farther. We bring in the cow, teach kids how to milk her, then we show how to separate the cream from the milk. The one thing we don't do here at Farm Park is pasteurize the milk. To pasteurize, you have to heat the milk to 140 degrees to eliminate bacteria. We use 2% milk to make our ice cream. So we have milk coming out this side, we have our cream coming out over here. The cream is actually what's going to flow to the top of the milk. Normally, if you let it separate out in your unhomogenized milk, the stuff, the stuff you buy at the store, the stuff you buy at the store has been all mixed together so it won't separate out in your refrigerator. But if you were to take our milk and put it in your refrigerator, all of the cream would come up to the top because it's lighter. It's going to float right on top of your milk. Actually, a long time ago, they used to take their buckets of milk after they milk their cows and stick them in the river so they'd get nice and cold, and then they'd just scrape the cream right off the top. To make our ice cream the old-fashioned way, you put in layers of ice and rock salt around the bucket. The rock salt actually makes the ice colder. The ingredients are a half gallon of milk, a pint of cream, one cup of sugar, and two tablespoons of vanilla. By churning the ingredients, it makes the liquid turn to ice cream. The next part is real easy. Do you want it with sprinkles or without? And now, you know how to make ice cream. And so does Pierre's.